Welcome back to Boda Bob's and uh, today I'm going to uh, just take a break, sit down here at my bench and do a little uh, detail work. And what I'm going to do, I don't know where I got this, but I may have found it along the road. I, I just don't know where I got it. But what it is, it's a uh, Volkswagen hubcap. I believe it's off of like a Beetle or a uh, micro bus. Hey, I'm not a Volkswagen expert, um, but I've always admired the people that hung these up in their shop. So I found this along the highway. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to uh, polish it up today. So what, I'm on, what I did is it's been sitting around collect, collecting dust. Boy, my tongue is always tied when I'm on camera. So I have some, uh, just some general purpose cleaner that I, I wiped the majority of the dust off and now I'm going to go to my old standby, Twits Polish. And again, this is not a paid endorsement, I'm not being, I don't get anything from Flitz. It's just a product that I use that I was introduced to back when I lived in um, Idaho. So um, when I lived in Idaho, I went to a car and boat show and there was a guy there who was selling Flitz polish and I watched his demonstration. And he literally took a piece of plexiglass, took a piece of emery cloth and scratched the uh, plexiglass up and proceeded to use Flitz and he didn't use a buffer, he just used his own hand, you know, uh, elbow grease to uh, polish that plexiglass back to a state. And, and there was no scratches visible. This, this plexiglass was just like it was new. And it was clear, you could see through it, it was amazing. And I don't know how long this product has been around, but I think it's absolutely um fantastic uh, I have another video I'll uh, link well I won't link to it but I'll put a thing down below drop down that tells you what video number it was and uh, basically it's Flitz polish versus the Kubota and uh, the headlights on my Kubota were yellowing just like you see on automobiles on the street they're plastic and uh, the uh, plastic lenses were yellowed over and so I thought hey let's give the flits a try and sure enough it it brought those lenses back to um, I don't know if they're as good as new but they're you know you can see through them now uh, very very um, good results got a sh blue shop towel here and so what I'll do is I'll just do part of it and We'll do a comparison. And one thing about this Flitz, you don't have to use, this is a one pound, I think it's one pound, and it will last a long, long time. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a very good this one. Buff it, buff it in. Give it a little time to work. If you've ever owned a Volkswagen, tell me about it. What kind of Volkswagen was it? What year was it? Why did you like it? Do you wish you could still get one of the original Beetles? Volkswagen Beetles, not the British Beetles. Now, I switched to a uh, microfiber cleaning or towel and I'm telling you what folks I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the camera or not this is just amazing what I'm seeing if I had a polishing machine but this chrome is just wow chrome polish so, 
I did two thirds of it. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see what I see here in the reflection. Can you see that, folks? There's the old, and there's after just getting in it. Now I need to get down into these little corners of this Volkswagen that's stamped out, but here where it's smooth, it is just amazing. Now in my other video, you saw me, well, if you go back and view it, you'll see I put the flitz on with my hand. It's not acidic. But it there is it is chemical, I, I think. I don't know how I don't know what's in it. But I would recommend you put some gloves on. Um, if you want to know why, try it. You know, <laughs> it made my fingers feel funny. It kind of made my fingers numb. So I would say it's a good idea to wear gloves while you apply this polish. Don't apply the polish with your fingers like I did. So, I don't know if that shows up quite the way, but now maybe I could have just polished it up without that, but there are some pits in there and some like uh, water stains that aren't visible on the bottom where I uh, polished it with the flitz. So, folks, if you have some polishing to do, let me tell you where this also works great is in your uh, faucets and in the shower, the uh, rings that go around like um, where you turn on the water and stuff, it will really do a good job at removing hard water stains and stuff like that. It's just a great product. A little, little pricey. But, you know, when I did the headlights on this Kubota to replace that uh, headlight bar, it's um, two lights together, and I think it was over $100 to replace that. So, I more than um, paid for this polish by just cleaning up those lights and not, um, not replacing the headlights. So... You know, maybe I can get another five more years of use out of those uh, lights, and that'll be great. So, just just looking at some deer out here. They don't know I'm in here. <laughs> so anyhow, um, yeah, it's um, Blitz Polish. I'll put a link down below. Again, I'm not affiliated. But I'll put a link to the Flitz website. I ordered this directly from their website and it came in a matter of days. Uh, it's a great product and again I'm not here just to sell stuff but um, I like to uh, tell people about products that I've tried and that I know work. Um, that's all it's about. That's why I'm telling that's why I'm sharing this with you. I do recall the guy at the um, car and boat show told me that if if it gets like a skim coat over top let's say you put this up on the shelf and let it sit for a couple of years and forget about it and then one day you open it and you find there's a crust on top like you used to see with paints like a one gallon paint just pull that um, get in there and remove that thick film throw that away and then stir it up and you can use the rest of it. You don't need to throw the whole container out. It'll still be good. That that skim coat there will act like a sealant and keep the uh, uh, oxygen out, I guess, and keep it from oxidizing. That's what I would say it's going to Again, I'm not a chemist. I don't know this stuff. I shouldn't talk above my head. But um, that's just my, my thoughts on it. I'm going to get back to finish polishing this uh, VW uh, hubcap and hang it up on the wall so thanks for coming by hey if you like this video uh, smash that like button share this with your friends if you know someone that's got a uh, some bad headlights maybe go buy them a small tube of this as a matter of fact I think there are some samples on their website that you can request um, you know they're great 
Um, yeah, share this with your friend. Hit that subscribe button. I'm sorry I'm getting off track, and I'm, the reason is, is I'm, I'm just going everywhere, helter-skelter, and helter-skelter. Who knows who sung the helter-skelter song? Here's a hint. Uh, the Beatles. Yesterday, they sang it. All right, this is Bo to Bob, calling it a wrap. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.